man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. In Beijing. in Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, it was in 1954 when a small restaurant, Sabatini, opened in Rome. Three brothers ran the family business using their mother's recipes. It didn't take long for them to spread not only all over Italy, but worldwide as well. The first time Sabatini sent a challenger to the kitchen stadium was three years ago. Chef Noda fought against Chen Kenichi in the sardine battle. But he seemed overly conscious about the Iron Chef Chinese. Basically, it was a bad strategy. Last time, our Chef Noda went beyond Italian cuisine to add Chinese taste to his dishes. This time, I'm sending a man who will prepare dishes speaking of the Sabatini tradition. Yes, this time, they are sending in their top chef to do justice to their name. We welcome the challenge. Today's challenger, a vanguard of Sabatini's pride and tradition. From Sabatini di Roma in Tokyo, Master Chef Hideki Maruyama. Maruyama knocked on Sabatini's door at age 26. Since then, he has been on the front line here in Tokyo and in Rome as well. He is viewed as the only man who can accurately recreate Don Sabatini's flavors. Well, you see, Don is almost like a father to me, and he surely is my culinary mentor. Maruyama's creations show his loyalty to the Sabatini family tradition. Tasters see the image of Don's mother in his dishes. So now, Maruyama, show us the spirit of the Sabatini tradition and make Don Sabatini a happy man. Maruyama, do your best and win for us. I'll fight for Don's pride.
イタリアンレストランの最高峰あのサバティーニが前回の屈辱を晴らすべく新たな挑戦者を送り込んでまいりましたドン・サバティーニの味を忠実に再現する男さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください青山サバティーニでローマ総料理長丸山秀樹 All right, Don Sabatini himself will lead his hand-picked man, Chef Mariama, into Kitchen Stadium along with the rest of the Sabatini squad. They've waited a long time for a chance for revenge, a bitter loss here three years ago, but this time Sabatini's chosen his right-hand man who he says can accurately recreate the flavor of his mother's Italian cooking, and that's the reason he predicts they can win today's battle. <laughs> Well, we failed to express the true Italian flavor in the dishes. Yes, well, he's told me to stick strictly to Sabatini's original flavors. The three Iron Chefs, the dons of their culinary fields. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto. Their stature grows every appearance in Kitchen Stadium. Chen San, please. Okay, that'll be it. A pure revenge match, a rematch with Chen Kenichi, son of the god of Szechuan cooking. Chen picked up everything his father had to teach him, and with dedication and hard work, has become a legend in his own right. Today, he faces the challenge of the Sabatini clan. They've waited three long years for a chance to get even. The day of reckoning has arrived. Chen Kenichi's イタリア料理で最もよく使われるあの大衆魚それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマはまたイワシAll right, the famous Italian restaurant in Tokyo, Sabatini di Roma, has a chance to avenge its earlier loss in Kitchen Stadium and regain their pride and honor. If their man, Mariyama, can drop Chen Kenichi. Same theme ingredient this time, too, so hold on, it's going to be a barn burner. All right, cheese in! Okay, opening gong sounds, the battle engaged, and they are off and running now to the ingredient stand. Three years ago, Don Sabatini sent his top man, Chef Noda, into the stadium. Chen, the opponent, and the eventual winner in the battle with sardines as the theme, and history repeating itself today. But the Sabatini people want a different ending, and they've got a new man cooking in Mariyama. Kusan? Go ahead, Ota. Challenger Mariyama told me that he's been ordered by Don Sabatini to take Chen down and to regain their name. He said he's going to do everything that he does in this battle, use everything that Sabatini offers to do just that, to knock the Iron Chef off of his pedestal. All right, not here for show, but to carry out a specific mission under the orders of Commander Sabatini. Will the ending be different this time? We'll see. Now let's get on with the business of introducing our guests for this revenge battle. First, next to me, actress Keiko Saito. Hello, nice to be here. Well, last time you were here was the memorable pork belly battle, which Chen lost in overtime. Yes, Remember? yes, that was quite an experience. You bringing us overtime this time? Mm, maybe, who knows? But uh, what do you think? Using the same ingredient could be tough for Chen Sun. That's right, he'll have to have other dishes this time. Mm, yeah. And this match has a number of angles, and glad you could make it. Thank you. And his second time here, actor Teruhiko Saigo. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure to be here. Now, you saw Morimoto in the sweet fish battle, right? That's right. Sweet yeah. fish, now sardines. Hope you like fish. <laughs> I, I love fish, no problem. And sardines are actually frequently used in my hometown of Kagoshima. Oh, we're both from Kyushu. Yeah. yeah? I'm thrilled to be here today. Kagoshima, Miyazaki. Yes, that's right. Right next door. The sardine <laughs> seasides. Well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank and you. as always, the man commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. A uh, pleasure and a privilege. Fukuzan. Go ahead, Ota. Challenger Mariyama says he's happy that the theme is sardines again. Unlike last time, this time viewers will be able to see what Sabatini's is really all about. 
All right, fair enough. They're getting a second chance. Last time, the man they sent in, Chef Noda, got rattled and was unable to stay with their classic Italian flavoring, they say, and went down to a disappointing defeat. Okay, I see the Iron Chef using something here. What is this, curry on. powder or something? The Iron Chef? Go ahead, Ota. Yes, in the wok, the Iron Chef has gokofun and glutinous rice. Gokofun. Okay, now that's a mix of Chinese spices, five different spices all mixed okay, together. Okay, yeah. should be interesting to see later on how he'll combine this with sardines. The Iron Chef there, the rice in the wok. Squeeze on. Yes. About today's battle, Don Sabatini says the last time the then challenger Chef Noda was given too much leeway and he <laughs> failed to express the Sabatini taste correctly. He says, this time I've ordered Mariama to stick to the real Italian flavoring I grew up with and we will win. Don's really insistent <laughs> on that point. They've had a lot of time to think about it. Three years. Will they be able to walk out of here with smiles on their faces today? It's all up to Mariyama now, and he's loosening the bones on and these squeeze pieces. On. Yes. The Iron Chef is now grinding the gokofun, or the five Chinese spices, and glutinous rice in the food processor. Rice in the food processor. Maybe he's preparing a batter for frying sardines. I think you could be onto something there, but we still can't be too sure yet. Squeeze mm. on. Yes. I can tell you what the Iron Chef thinks about today's theme. He said, same sabatini, same sardines. Is there a conspiracy against me? <laughs> hey, we don't select the theme, the chairman's the guy, and uh, as Chen cooks today, we'll Ooh. note how his approach to sardines uh, differs this boiled time. dish. This is on the challenger side with the chunks of sardine working in the pot. Broth in there, it looks like already. Yeah, something along those lines. Now, if you add ginger to this, Ooh, it like would Japanese be... home cooking. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Go on in this pot, the challenger has added water, sardines, and white wine vinegar. Hmm, white wine vinegar. Oh, okay, so he's choosing to work with vinegar this A time. A naturally around. sour taste there. Right, it's like in Japanese cooking, adding umeboshi, the salt cured plums. Now, what's uh, Chen up to? Uh, milk to remove the fishy smell? Yeah, no, this is called masking. He's masking with milk. We've talked about it before. Oh, yes, right. That's right. Right. Yes, yeah. Ota. This bowl contains milk, ice, and salt. Salt and milk. Huh, that's uh, interesting with salt there. Yeah, maybe the ice is to firm up the flesh of the fish. Yeah, yeah, and Fukuizan. Go. Yeah, more comments from Chef Sabatini here. Speaking about Italian chefs in Japan, he says that most of the top Italian chefs in Japan are influenced to some degree by the Sabatini taste or style. So in a sense, he sees them as his sons. One hmm. extended family. Okay, now let's check out the challenger here. He's using artichokes. Artichokes, right. Yeah, now this is uh, an Italian original, actually. It's a very popular ingredient there. So the artichoke is a key ingredient for the Sabatini flavor. Right, yeah, exactly. Ooh, okay, and uh, he'll be cooking this one up? Yeah, of course. You can't eat them as his. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ota. Chen says his strategy today includes a secret weapon. The only hint he would give me that he's using fruit in a clever way. He says hmm. he was inspired by dishes found in Hong Kong on a recent visit. Ah, mm. okay. Now the Iron Chef is smoking the sardines here. Smoking them? Yes, the sliced sardine fillets are getting the smoking treatment right Squeeze here. Squeeze on. Take it. The sardines he is now smoking are the ones that he had dipped in milk. He sprinkled more salt on them before smoking them. Okay, with milk there. Yes, he to get rid of the fishy smell. And more salt. Okay, now check out the challenger here. The challenger? Yeah, he's going to be doing the same, it looks like. Oh, smoking. Yes, doing mm. it with... Um, figs. Hmm. Figs. Oh, okay, yeah. Smoked yeah. figs. Okay, 15 minutes gone already. Is this an antipasto? Oh, uh, boy. Not Again, sure. smoked figs. Hmm. Now, the question is, is this a starter or a dessert? That's that's my big question right now. Ah, uh, uh, ice cream? What now? <laughs> uh, on the Iron Chef's side. Oh, no, he's not doing it again, is he? What? What? This has sardines in it? If you remember, oh, oh. previously he created ice cream. Go butter. ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry to interrupt, but uh, yeah, let oh, me no. remind you what he has in this mixture. Milk, salt, ice, and sardines, you already know, plus sour cream, fresh cream, sesame sauce, and fermented tofu all mixed together. A sardine sorbet. Well, it could be a cold sauce, but... Oh. Yeah. All right. Aww. And Fukuizan. Yes. The Iron Chef heard that we were debating whether this was ice cream or not. He said, no, it's not ice cream. It's a mousse. Okay. Oh, okay. Now it smells it. very now nice. Right. I smell olive oil. Mm, from the challenger side, yes. Yeah, he's got olive oil and something else in there. Some Can't other really, ingredients. Fukuizan. Yes. Simmering in the challenger's frying pan are the sardines that were dipped in water, white wine vinegar, and later fried. Okay, so these have been fried once already. A double dose of frying. Okay, so he's planning to maybe stew this for a long time then. Mmm, oh, tomatoes. That would be good with this. Is that yeah. what he's... Yep. Now the tomatoes go in, so what, a stew, pasta sauce maybe? Mmm, that sounds good too. Yeah, that's possible, very possible actually. Both, either one, we'll wait and see yeah, what it turns out to good, be. Fukuisan. Though. Yes. I talked with Don Sabatini a little more about Italian food in Japan, and he told me that Italian restaurants in Japan have come a long way in the past. <laughs> they mainly only serve pizza and pasta, but ever since his restaurant opened, they have really improved. Having said that, though, he also said that quality-wise, there are only three that meet his standards, but he can't mention their names. Well, I'd like to hear them. Tell us afterwards, okay? <laughs> 
Okay, now remember the Iron Chef talked about using fruit. Right. He's slicing some mangoes right here now. Uh -huh. Right, these are mangoes. Right, yeah. Thought they were persimmons for a second. Oh, uh, you did too? The ones without the seeds, right? Well, he said he got some inspiration in Hong Kong, worked some fruit into the dishes, and here's where it's coming out. All right, we're back, and I've just been handed a note. Uh, seems that up in the Royal Box, we've got a special guest up there, Steve Stevens, a guitar player out of Los Angeles, now touring Japan with his band, and we hear he is a big fan of the Iron Chef. Welcome to the show. Yeah, this show is becoming really international now, huh? Yes, Saito-san, we've been on in the States now for some time. Yeah, it's true, right. Fukuzan? Yes. In the bowl the Yarn Chef now has, he's mixing sardine fillets, chunyan sauce, salt, sugar, salt cured plums, or umeboshi, and mangoes. Okay, there they go in that one. And now the glutinous mm -hmm. rice going in. Huh. Oh, this is what he was planning to do. Okay, I see. And he's going to fry this. Yeah, I think so. That's my guess. But then again, you know, I, I could be wrong. Fry it all before. up? Well, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, so now, is this the Iron Chef? No, no, the Challenger. Okay, well, he's... He's put this into the pressure cooker, right? All right, that was in the pan earlier. So a stewed item, probably. A stew, okay. Looks there. Ooh, it looks wonderful. A tomato-flavored stew oh, with sardines. I'm starting to drool. <laughs> <laughs> Get them off. Fukuzan? <laughs> yes. Speaking of this sardine and tomato sauce dish, Don Sabatini says, my mother used to make this for us once a week. This is what we started mm. with. The heart of the Sabatini taste. And Chef Maruyama told me that he received intense training under Chef Sabatini when he first attempted to make this dish. All right, to the core of the Sabatini flavor as we pass the halfway mark. 30 minutes left, and who will survive round two of the Battle of Sardines, Italian versus Chinese cuisine? Uh, bananas? Okay. Well, right here, we've got sardine fillets that are being smoked. This looks really good. Yes, and a nice color to them, a golden tan to these sardines. Now, meantime, back over to the Iron Chef's side here. What are these leaves? Uh, lotus leaves, oh, I think. Oh, right, lotus, okay. So for steaming, then? Yeah, exactly. Okay, but steaming what? Uh, sardines? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the ones he had flour on, I think. Okay, before. yeah, that yeah. could be it. Yeah, this one right here. Now, this could be something that he tried in Hong Kong, so... Mmm, looks like it. Steaming this. When we saw the rice going on, we thought it would be fried. Yeah, I, I was fooled by that, too. Okay, but the Iron Chef, apparently he will be steaming this. Well, you know, either way, it's going to taste great, so... All right. Now there's potatoes. Are they here? Mm -hmm. Potatoes? Uh, it could be gnocchi, a uh, type of pasta. Huh, okay, this is on the Challenger side. Right. Yes. The Challenger is doing something unique. He boils celery hack and sweet potatoes, and he's now frying them. Oh, okay, celery hack. Uh, sorry, what is that? It's the root of the celery, basically. Uh -huh. All right, well, celery roots, let's call them, okay, Doc? Sure, okay. Mm. All right, now what's going into the food processor here? This one here? This could be porcini. Ah, uh, yes. That's okay, right. really getting ground up there. Yeah. Mm, yeah, for a sauce, of, probably. Porcini's right, yeah. the name. Great mushroom flavor, I'll bet. Yeah, now the Iron Chef is frying something in his wok here. Oh, well, this way the bones can also be enjoyed. Oh, okay, like bone crackers. <laughs> Great for beer snacks. <laughs> yeah, and lots of calcium, so healthy. These are the bones of the sardines. Right, yeah. Wow, frying them and some meat still on them. And I'll tell you what, Saito-san, I think they'd go great with the beer. <laughs> <laughs> now to the challenger side. Oh, this looks great. Several ingredients are mixed in this one. Challenger Mariyama ordered to win this one, not for the Gipper, but for Don Sabatini. And Looking up close at the ingredients, what what's in it? Is this, there sardines in here? Okay, yes, some slices <laughs> wow, of looks fillet. Amazing. Hmm. Wow. Could be for a pasta. Well, everything look, looks like a pasta sauce. I can take them as they are. Saigo so saw my sentiments too. <laughs> now, to swinging back to the Iron Chef. Now, these are the bones he had earlier? In that, in that bowl. Yes, go ahead, Ota. Yes, here the Iron Chef has chunyan sauce, ginger hot chili sauce, shantan Chinese broth, long onions, sesame seeds, sesame oil, mm. sugar, vinegar, and soy sauce, and he's using all this to marinate these fried, meaty sardines. That's a mouthful. Thanks, Ota. So, what do you think, Doc? This one's ready for serving as is? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, the challenger, he's added a lot more to the uh, gnocchi. You mean this one? This one? Yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, he's used the flour? Yeah, I saw him adding porcini, too. Mm, and that's why the color's like this. Yeah, right, exactly. Now I'm betting this will be a gnocchi pasta. All right, so this will be his pasta dish, working it now. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, in this bowl, the challenger has the celery hack and sweet potatoes, which he boiled, strained, and then fried. He also added the porcini uh, mushrooms and now flour, as you can see. Okay, and Doc says this will be gnocchi, a pasta dish by Mariyama, the Iron Chef. 
has got another dish working on quite colorful here. Mm, it's sophisticated looking, isn't it? Just what all is in this one? Ota, you got that? Cuisan? Yes. Yeah, I think I can answer that. Okay. Carrots, zucchini, daikon, radishes, uh, onions, tomatoes, the sardines, which were dipped in milk, and that's about it. Okay, so the sardines here haven't been cooked or aren't going to be cooked. Could this work as a, a salad or something, Doc? Uh, it could very well be, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Looking oh, good. Yeah, and the tomatoes too. It looks great, doesn't it? Now, this is probably a finished item just all by itself okay. right here. Fukuizan? Yes. Uh, once again, just to review what the challenger has in this pressure cooker, starting with sardines dipped in minced garlic, mm. then Chinese herbs and white wine vinegar, whole tomatoes, and also fish broth. Oh, mm. great effort oh, there. Okay. Now, I also mm. saw red beans going in Yes, here. the beans right there. Mm, yes, like and a... kidney beans. Okay, kidney beans, right. All right, all right, no doubt about it. Right here, the flavors are certain to be pure Italian. From Challenger uh, I can hardly Mariana. wait to taste it. It's mm. like a real homemade stew, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, exactly. A recipe handed down from Don's mom. Cuisine? Yes. About this dish in the pressure cooker, Don Sabatini remarked that he loves bean soup, but it's not something that you'll find on a restaurant menu. It's reminiscent of home cooking, what you would find simmering in Italian homes. Okay, the Challenger staying true to the golden recipes of the Sabatini family. And for Cuisan, yes. sorry to interrupt again, but the challenger was just shocked to find that he had forgotten to add the artichokes to the what? pressure cooker dish, and he has hastily done that. He oh. forgot? <laughs> okay, yeah, so he just added them. Unbelievable. Now this far, mm. knowing what it means, artichoke added after the fact. What about the taste now? Yeah. Less okay. than 15 minutes left now. Okay, I call this. Here we go. Yeah, Cuisan. gnocchi pasta. Yes. Don Sabatini was just reminiscing about gnocchi when he said it was something that my mother used to prepare for us when we were still poor, and he said mm. it's still one of his favorite dishes. All right. Well, in Japan, we have a similar dish, sweet on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Don Sabatini up in the royal box, calm on the outside, but you know he's churning Cuisine? inside. Yes. In the frying pan here, the challenge it will see if we can get a uh, shot of it here before I start. There okay. it is. This is sardines, onions, garlic, fennel, white wine, fresh cream, capero, and the leftover hot water he used to boil the porcini mushrooms. Okay. All these ingredients are combined to make this dish. Wow. That's, mm, uh, this is gnocchi for sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Back for the last part of this battle. Now, on the Iron Chef side, they've got a sorbet using sardines that they are just getting out of the ice cream maker now. When would they be serving this one? Boy, good question. Not for dessert, I'd venture. Well, I'm still saying this is a cold sauce for something else. A cold sauce? Yeah, onto something. Eaten something. with something, you say? <laughs> yeah, with bread. <laughs> All right. I do see them breaking out some small glasses on that side, so maybe it'll go on its own. And now we'll swing back to Challenger Mariyama. Fukuizan? Yes. Let me explain what the Challenger is preparing here. He's garnishing sardine fillets with a sprinkling of Italian parsley, breadcrumbs, olive oil, and salt. And he's also added lemon and truffles to this. All right, thanks, Ota. And it looks like he'll grill it in the oven. Mm, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Okay, now he's also added sardine oil to this too, didn't he? Hmm. All right. He's Fukuizan? Got... Yes. Yet when asked about the challenger for getting to add the artichokes to his stew, right. Chef Sabatini in the Royal Box said, well, you can't change history. We can't do anything about this now. But don't forget the breadcrumb grill on the oven. That's another very important dish my mother prepared for me and my brothers uh, all the time. Back to you. All right. Mariyama's on it right now. Okay. Now, Ten I thought this to was go. to be fried, but grilled, huh? Ten minutes left in the battle. Mariyama's already sweating up a storm. How will he hold up these last and crucial Fukuizan? minutes? Yes. About his using ring molds, the Iron Chef said dishes should look good, too. Pleasing visually is half the battle, but I'm not copying the Iron Chef Sakai, he says. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no one said he's copying Sakai. Borrowing, maybe, this technique from the Iron Chef French that he often uses to give a nice round shape. Now, Matiyama just getting his grilled item into the oven. Less than eight minutes left. What'll Don say about that? I bet mom took more than eight minutes to cook hers. <laughs> I see something finished on the challenger side here. Which one? The appetizer. On oh, the smoked sardines. Yeah, the smoked one. Uh, I count three ingredients here. Okay, figs and some stewed tomatoes and sardines there. Right, right, exactly. Mm, sounds okay together. And, um, is that rice over there? On the Iron Chef's side? Uh-huh. Sure looks like it is right here. Iron Chef Chen wasn't aware that they were making rice. What's he going to do? Yeah, what's he up to with that, I wonder? Okay, the rice now topped by something. He's going to add sauce to it or soup to it? No. No, no, no. He's got something on top right there. What? Now, this may be the fried bones or crushed or something. Oh, 
All right, five minutes left. Fukuzan? Sardines on rice. Yes. When the challenger added the chartiokes, you mean artichokes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the artichokes. When asked about them, he said he was going to use every minute to make them as tender as possible. All right, so they're not ready yet at this late stage in time. A factor that Mariyama has to be concerned about, the dish with the artichoke, madly boiling it now. Look to be the highlight dish, but now the flavor balance will be off at best and disrupted at worst. Now the entourage up in the royal box, the Sabatini side starting to get lively up there. <laughs> hey, they've even got some music to fire their man up. They're recreating the atmosphere of their restaurant. Quite a scene and sound here in Kitchen Stadium, and a good beat up there, too. Kuzan? <laughs> yes. I asked the Iron Chef how he's going to serve this rice that he just dished up, and he told me that you're probably thinking I'm going to pour sardine soup over it, and you'd be right, it's going to be great. Okay. But that's not all. That'll be spiced up with sardine bone crackers, scallions, pickled ginger, and minced plum which will all be placed on the rice before serving. Wild, and soup poured onto the rice. Yeah, like tea poured onto rice. Mm. Okay, and now Chen is starting to break a sweat too, and he's really picked up the pace here toward the end. And the Sabatini section, joyous as can be, singing, <laughs> cheering, clapping, and Don up on his feet. Ferdinand on Mariyama, yes. Chef Sabatini was pleasantly surprised with the smoked sardines the challenger is making. He said they look great. It's it's a wonderful idea. Figs as a garnish. I'm asking him to make that for me, he said. Okay. <laughs> you know, he really wants to win, but he's also having a ball up there. Okay, how much time do we have left here? Uh, less than three and a half minutes now. Wow. Yeah, this is getting down to crunch time, isn't it? It sure uh, is. The Iron Chef is into the bananas there. Yeah, frying them. Frying the bananas? Yep, a fry job by Chen. And I tell you, though, Kitchen Stadium starting to look, sound, and feel like a real Italian eatery back in the home country. <laughs> And Matiyama's focused on the task at hand, but boy, are they whooping it up behind him. Yes, Ota. I asked the challenger whether he's listening to the music from his supporters, and he said, I don't know what I'm hearing or doing right now. How much time is left? How much time do I have left? He sounds anxious. All right, well, he is really in a fix time-wise. Yeah, he's got oh, a good my. crowd behind him, though. Fuki's on? Yes. <laughs> yeah, in the walk, the Iron Chef has fried bananas, sardines, long onions, ginger, red chili, and also bell peppers. What a collection there. Mm, sweet and hot. Sounds good. Yeah, he's good at that. All right, now Matiyama's helpers have the grill out of the oven. Looks like it's going to make it on time. What do we call this one? Grilled sardines just doesn't seem to do it justice. One is down, and the Iron Chef finishing flames there from his classic flavorings. Yes. Just to quickly confirm what the Iron Chef is using for flavoring in this dish, soy sauce, salt, chunyan hot sauce, and peppercorn. Back to you. All right, more hot and spicy from the Sejuan Sage, and one minute is approaching now. Here it is, the last 60 seconds. Chen trying to defeat the Sabatinis for the second time in this rematch. Challenger Matiyama, a few bumps here at the end, trying to finish up everything, get the dishes done and down. The Iron Chef, on his side, some finishing touches are being applied. The battle today, sardines, the same theme as the first time they went around. This, in reality, not just a rematch, but a grudge match. Okay, now, does the challenger have all the dishes that he wanted? I don't know, but he's been bolting all over in the last minute here. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds left. Uh, nuts? What's, uh, Yeah, nuts? macadamia nuts here. Oh. Okay, right here, nuts going on top, right alongside with sardines. Ooh, that looks pretty. Don't know pretty. yet about the challenger's artichoke. Now, what are these leaves? These right here? Uh, grape leaves, I believe. Yes, the grilled creation right there, resting on top of grape leaves. Less than 15 seconds, seconds 10 seconds. Don Sabatini and company waiting three long years for this day. Five Will seconds. real Italian flavorings carry the day and result Two, in victory for their one. man? The final seconds tick down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The sardine battle is over. How was the battle? Uh, I was always scrambling. Scrambling? But I did my best. And how did your dishes turn out? Mm, the assistants did really great. Uh huh. So they're okay, I think. Yes. Just okay? But Chef Sabatini said yes. that he thought you did very well. I'm sure he's satisfied. Your thoughts and comments? Chef Moriyama fully understands the tradition of Sabatini. And so I'm not worried at all about the outcome. Quite a workout. Oh, yeah. Today, I used a lot of fruit. Uh -huh. A lot of unique dishes, all of them. And you were really focused. Yeah. You know, I've had this theme once before. I had to be focused to create different things. Uh-huh. I kept that in mind and had fun. I knew I didn't have an easy match with Sabatini. I really did my best not to lose to them. Challenger Matayama is offering six dishes. First, marinated sardines. He added his own personal touch to the traditional Sabatini method by curing the sardines with kelp seaweed. Second, smoked sardines and figs. 
He used cherry and apple wood chips to smoke and remove excess fat from the sardines. The sourness of tomato jelly accentuates the two sauces, mint and balsamic vinegar. Third is sardine and porcini gnocchi, a masterpiece pasta stuffed with celery roots and sweet potatoes, creating a wonderful platform to enjoy the natural flavor of this fish. The texture of the pasta matches perfectly with that of sardines. Next, lemon granita, a nice change of pace flavor-wise after the thick flavoring of the pasta dish with just a touch of mint added. Fifth is grilled sardine with herbs, a recreation of a recipe from Don Sabatini's mother. Lemon, truffles, tomatoes, and anchovies are sprinkled on top prior to grilling. And the last dish, the main course, sardine and tomato stew. Red chili is what accentuates the flavor for this grand finale to the meal and a faithful execution of a Sabatini family specialty. Iron Chef Chen counters with four dishes. First, sardine hors d'oeuvres, three items with a French presentation. The sardine tartare has several vegetables and is visually pleasing. The sardine mousse using milk and cream is truly a unique dish by the Iron Chef. And smoked sardine, also dipped in milk, no trace of a fishy smell. Second is steamed sardine and mango, coating the ingredients with glutinous rice and five Chinese spices. The sweetness, usually provided by pumpkin, is furnished here by mango, for a one-of-a-kind sweet and sour dish using mangoes. Hot and spicy sardines and bananas. Bananas, stir-fried, a classic Szechuan technique, are blended with a new partner in sardines. Tasters will look forward to this harmony between sweet and hot. Last is sardine soup rice. The fried sardine bones grilled filet in soup made of sardine broth successfully condense the natural flavor of the theme ingredient. The garnishes add a refreshing touch to the sardine presented in this soup, closing the meal. Don Sabatini and clan with new lead chef challenger Hideki Matayama finally have their chance for redemption in Kitchen Stadium. Three years after a bitter defeat to Iron Chef Chen Kenichi, they seek revenge. And the rematch is a complete one. Chairman Kaga unveils sardines, the same theme these combatants had the first time around. Ordered to stick to the tried and true flavors, Matayama produces a stunning set of six dishes. The Iron Chef, delving deep into his sardines playbook, fights back with four. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Keiko Saito, actor Teruhiko Saigo, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes of challenger Mariyama. Yes, yes, that's right. I smoked them a little bit to kill the greasiness. The oil in the sardines is nicely controlled by the smoking, and it's been turned into a very sophisticated dish, and the smoking's done just, just right. The figs and the tomato-flavored jelly combination, yes? Very well balanced. This is the first time I've ever had this. Really. Thank you. I like it. This is totally different from our perception of sardines. Well, in short, it's a very high-class, sophisticated piece. Mm. I used porcini mushrooms and tried this with celery roots. I like the warmth of this dish and the feeling of cooked sardines and the gnocchi. This makes me feel at home. The porcini mushrooms are what make this dish elegant. It's a strong sauce, yet it doesn't kill the sardines in it. That's how I'd put it. To be honest, I wanted more time to grill this further. This sardine is different from the one before, but uh, how do you say, it's still a very high-class dish, very, very good. But to me, I wish you didn't have too much lemon on it. I tried it without them, and they're still very good. I like this, the sourness of this. It's almost like Japanese home cooking. It's savory aroma. I like it very much. The sardine and tomato stew is served by Mariyama. How will the panel like the Sabatini home cooking? This is the one that's closest to Don's mother's recipe. I wish, I really wish there was pasta with this sauce. It would go well. It's so nice and spicy. You said you forgot to put artichoke in it, right? But it's really good. 
Yes, this flavor mm, is really quite wonderful. The beans are nice. Hmm. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, and after I've swallowed it, the chili stays in my mouth, you know? I like it a lot. All of them were so sophisticated. These dishes have survived the test for years. It's not neo-Italian. Well, I'm not saying this to Kobe in any way. Uh, they were all very good. This tells us we have to respect the old while searching for the new. And now the dishes of the Iron Chef. We don't use the sardines in Sichuan. So, uh, in a sense, uh, I was able to be creative, be, being myself. Of course, I followed some Sichuan techniques. I used fruit in some of the dishes. Uh, I, I want you to use your spoons and mix the sauce in. This proves that he is a very sensitive man. <laughs> mm, how should I put it? It's a, it's a very fine smoked dish. Honestly, now, this man knows all about Japanese taste buds. But this is awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's happened to you? This tastes terrible. You know, you could have added your A game. What was it? Uh, hot bean paste? Yeah, you're right. Just a little bit to this. I mean, another twist to it. If you did that, it would have been perfect, I think. Normally, we use pumpkin to add sweetness to this. Today, I tried mangoes for this, a new approach for sweetness. We've been eating sardines after sardines. I think you did the right thing using mangoes. Really good. This is good. The sardines for a moment tasted like stewed pork at first. And then, as you chew more, you go, oh, this is sardine. The sardine has turned itself into pork to a degree. In Sichuan cooking, we stir fry bananas, really. And the peppercorns, Chinese pepper, they're quite strong. I'm saying to myself as I'm eating, um, I've tasted something like this before, but maybe not. The peppercorns elevate this whole dish. If I had a nice cold beer, this would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> With just a little less pepper, this would be a true masterpiece. And now Chen serves his sardine soup rice. I used sardine bones and pork for the broth as a, like a flavor base. The sardines could have been sliced a little smaller, but the flavor is so good. I'm enjoying the aroma first, right? And after you put it into your mouth, the warmth of the sardines and the crispy bones and the ginger, this has so many elements to it. <laughs> Today's battle is very sophisticated. I'm really happy that I didn't miss this. The scoring is going to be extra difficult. How about overtime today? No thanks, please. <laughs> <laughs> the verdict should be a tight one. Who walks out of here smiling? We'll find out. イタリアの心、まんまの味を堪能させてくれた今日の挑戦者。ドンサバティニも今回も今回は満足したと思います。しかし結果を出すのは私です。それでは発表します。Today, the top chef at Tokyo Sabatini Daroma trying to restore the pride and honor of its owner. Challenger Mariyama, a great effort. Better than the challenger Don Sabatini had in here the first time in a revenge match against the Iron Chef, who was forced to dig deep into his arsenal. Did he come up with enough? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? The Iron Chef, Chen, dashing the dreams of revenge in round two, Italian versus Chinese, Sabatini versus Chen. It ends in similar fashion, a hard fought victory for the Iron Chef. The sweetness of revenge will not be tasted tonight. All right, let's check the scoring. Very close, Kano, 20 to 19, the challenger. Saito, 1918, the Iron Chef. Saigo, 1716, the Iron Chef. Hosoki, 19-18, the Iron Chef. Three to one, Chen wins it. Considering the mission the challenger was on, Chen was under tremendous pressure yet again with sardines, an ingredient not really used in Szechuan cooking. He's able to pull off a second definitive win. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi.
The result is not important to me. I just appreciate my apprentice, Mariyama-san, doing a wonderful job in the battle today. I know we've lost to Chen-san again. Chen-san, congratulations. The most important thing is that Mariyama-san showed everyone what true Italian cuisine is all about. Therefore, I'm satisfied. Yeah.